Hello and welcome to a very special video that I have for you today and this is the live stream that I have just finished for all of the contenders and champions within the chart champions group and this is now going to be released to the public for free on YouTube. Uh, hopefully I can help out some people. Maybe you missed all of this move to the upside and now you're feeling a bit of FOMO. You'd like a little bit of clarity. That's hopefully what I can bring you of this. A little bit of calmness. I'm not a moon boy. I'm not an up perma bear. I'm trading the charts, giving my perspective and uh, you, you'll be able to see this during the live stream, being a bit charitable with uh, some of the, with one of the call anyway that I gave during that stream, uh, which literally in, in the past 20 minutes has been an extremely profitable trade uh, once again. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope it assists you and uh, let's crush these charts. And, uh, you know, you're going to see a glimpse, only a small glimpse of the value that you get overall within Chart Champions. We're here to assist, help and make money trading. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy. What happened today then? Um, it was actually pretty cool, I think, in the way that you got to move to the upside. Oh my, life. look at those liquidations. That's absolutely insane. But um, yeah, obviously today, I want to actually switch over to Bybit because the Bybit really was leading this on the way up when we were looking at it on the order flow. So Bybit was really great. You actually had um, yeah, the VWAP. So basically this morning, uh, cast your eyes back if you weren't looking at the champions group, I suppose. You had the move up from this high to this low into the CC. And on the CC, you had the bearish CVD divergences, which was a scalp short position. But then what we done was we took it back down to VWAP support. And obviously from this VWAP support, uh, well, it's held. <laughs> it, it, that was the low. And from here, uh, it kind of just took off today. You have not really slowed down, uh, making its way back up past the high. Obviously, that key level was 12,250. And uh, I, I love what Outsider has, has been doing. Um, let's just find the post. Outsider. Got to find the posts because it was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, this is the one that obviously she's been tracking it really great. And uh, so thank you for this. Obviously, the levels that we've been looking at, um, we need to move this back over. Uh, we've obviously made our way up through the weekly, weekly naked point of control. So it's obviously been level to level and, and she's been updating this as we've been going along. Really cool. We obviously had the naked point of control on the weekly. We then had the MS.75. We then had the Eagles magic level. We then had the weekly. And then the key one for me and myself anyway was obviously that 12,255. Because as you know, my moon target was if we flipped to 12,255. We did flip 12,250. And so obviously the overall target then was, was 13,500. Uh, obviously we haven't quite hit that, which is a shame, isn't it? That is a shame. We only managed to hit 13, well, 12,900 on Bybit. Um, and obviously now we're getting this, this pullback. Um, I mean, we're in a bit of no man's land. Let's be, let's be totally honest. I think if you're not in a... Uh, I mean, I, I personally wouldn't be shorting here. Um, Me neither. Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of no man's land. I, I, I suppose... What, what, what are your viewpoints, Mike and Victor? Yeah, I think, I think it's definitely... Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, we just had... Um, we just literally just had a huge breakout and squeeze long staking profit short staking profit and right now you can just see that longs and shorts are building up at the same time which for me always indicates that there's more or less of like a range gonna form and now we are actually dropping <laughs> so that that has been decided right now <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah that was fast <laughs> straight into the cc actually just now so there's the answer so yeah i, I guess what you can pay attention to right now is basically is this going to be getting bought up or is it going to push through but even then still i mean this has been happening like all the if time i was scoping i'd be buying the dip <laughs> yeah the, the cc yeah same yeah. here but now I'm, I'm on stream so i'm i'm in no position right now um i did took a took a try to take a scalp short at the swing failure at 12,491 um but the way that i traded that was uh, with a with a time stop loss so in these like the way i would like to trade that is like if the trend is like really strong upwards i mean i'm i am aware that i'm actually trading against the trend 
So what I do then is I do take the scalp for a potential swing failure pattern. And then if I just don't see a reaction within the next few minutes or so, then I'll just, I'm just going to close out. You know, and that's what I did with Dan. And then literally, the, the, this was this was perfect actually because I kind of closed on like this little order block that you had on the on the three minute or even the one minute, and literally directly after that we just shot straight through. So um, that's time stop losses uh, for you. <laughs> so that, that worked out pretty well uh, in, in that sense. And all, all of that, yeah, I, I agree with you. At the moment, it's just. The trade wasn't just now what you could have had was at the CC, in my opinion. Uh, but now it's too late already for that again. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of wait for it, either a range to form or uh, more uh, a heavy pullback on, on a more significant key level, I would say. Yeah, I mean, for, for me personally, I've been a, I've been a bit more... I'm, I'm viewing this as a really, I mean, good breakout. What's the likelihood that this high, 12,900, is the high? I mean, you could have fought this so many times, literally, over the past, you know, literally, more more the last, the last two days, really, 48 hours. There's been so many times where you could have said, oh, this is the high, 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 this is the high. And guess what? Every time, if you're trying to swing short, it's such a bad idea. So I personally think, why would I think this is the high now? Because no time thus far, it's been the high. So until we lose support, I got to view, I got to say, uh, I'm still looking for higher prices. I'm, I'm looking for 13,500 myself. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to happen, but, um, you know, I personally would be looking to buy every single dip until uh, there's a reason not to. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, same. I'm looking at it uh, like that as well. I mean, there's... Uh... For me, it was last you night. You don't have to agree with me. You can give you can give something else if you don't feel that way. But personally, okay, I, let's I, short I, yellow <laughs> short one hundred x. Personally, I, no, no. I, I I don't care. Like I I think it's really bullish. But um, yeah, for me, yeah. the turning point. I mean, the past few days, I haven't taken a trade until last last night, when we claimed that eleven thousand nine hundred um area that was such such a key area, and um, I saw your money for me, it was. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, no, I was gonna gonna show the trade and in, in the in the group what you're referring to, obviously. Oh yeah. That eleven thousand nine hundred entry. What an entry. Yeah, when it started claiming that area and then had that nice little dip to the VWAP, um around eleven thousand eight hundred something, that's when um for me it was like, okay, there's no need. I was in a one X short because I was just not trading and I was waiting for a for um Actually, I was looking for a short, I have to admit, or some sort of weakness, but there was no weakness. And that's the way it has been the entire time. And shorts getting wrecked repeatedly. Um, there's It just makes no sense to try to be, uh, yeah, like we said so many times, to try to be the hero that uh, shorts the top. Uh, just ride with the trend and keep making money. So I closed on all of my accounts. I took off all the shorts and just let run spot. And on that VWAP bounce, I added uh, low leverage stuff and just added a little bit more in strength. And um, I've done it so on my swing and tra uh, day trading account, the swing one, I'm going to let it run. And uh, I've taken profits on the day trading account just to pay myself. You know? it's, um, this last week now, I had to switch to the BitMEX charts to see two very old daily levels from 2018 and 2019 at 12,700 and 12,900 wick through those. I don't think, yeah, if it, the momentum is so strong that I don't think this is going to be the high either, but I just wanted to pay myself and, um, well, I still have spot and I still have the other accounts uh, going up. So it's okay. I'm happy with that. And there's no way I'm going to look for a short until I see a proper rejection. And there's just, sorry, but there's n no rejection to be seen for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm, not I'm kind of under the same viewpoint. No. I, d I don't feel that. I mean, yeah, I suppose like viewing that is sensibly like not, a, you know, just viewing it sensibly i think you're in so much of a no man's sort of well you've obviously hit your daily okay so you've hit you've hit a resistance so it's not like you can't say there's nothing but it's also at a point where like okay you know for what was the high here of it it was the high was um yeah could be the high uh twelve thousand nine hundred. sorry yeah. um could be the high, 13,000, but um, until you really lose support, I just don't feel 
you know, I'm referring to swing trading. I just don't think there's like, why try and short the exact high? Um, you know, people try and do it all the time and like the trend is up. It's like, you know, the Champions live stream that I gave on Sunday. That was obviously the first one where we were doing our swing series. And obviously, I was looking for a long position because the trend is up. So the trend is still up as we're speaking right now. So if you're a swing trader, why would you try and look for a swing short while the strength is up? There's no, unless you want to be the hero, but guess what? A swing trader doesn't try and be the hero. The swing trader waits for rejections or an actual confirmation. This, this that you're seeing here is not a swing trader's short entry. You know, this, this is somebody that enters for a swing trade for Twitter post, not for actually, this, this is not a, this is not a, in my opinion, a good entry for a swing trade short. Absolutely, it could be the high. <laughs> I mean, you could have been saying that for the past 20, 48 hours, essentially. Yeah. There's, been, there's been levels where it could have been the high. It's too warm. It was never the most likely, that, the most probable that it was the high. Yeah, I agree. And to be really honest, also, like, I myself, I don't even put that much significance on that daily level. I I mean, there's really not that much resistance above us. I mean, the real resistance over there. Can, can I share my screen? Uh, is that possible? Yeah, right. Should be possible. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, let me see how to do that. <laughs> um, give me a second. Yeah. There we go. Can you, you, can, you can see my screen now, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, honestly, like, yeah. the way that I was viewing this, uh, like like shown yesterday in the stream, I was viewing this as like a more more of like a ranging environment, right? Because we, we've made like a low, but not really like a higher high yet. And until today, we've now literally broken out of it. So like from, on a higher turn time frame, we're now pretty much like trending again. Of course, you could consider that this was already a trend, yes. But if you look at this as like one chunk of price action, then we just broken out of this horizontal range, so to speak, and we are now simply above that. And then other than that, um, th there's really not that much resistance above us. I mean, I really have to now refer back to the to the Bitmax chart because simply <laughs> <laughs> buy buy levels is literally off the charts right now. So uh, besides like these these other highs, so we could potentially swing failure this high maybe. But then I mean, if we are gonna go this high, then we might as well just you know tap the older uh, the older high, right? Because that is, in my opinion, where there's a little bit more confluence coming in with like the global CC coming in. There's also an older monthly level, and then literally like clear that and there's really not that much resistance left uh, to the old high, really. Um, you, ha you have like this kind of consolidation area, the 20K top. Uh, closing above the monthly would effectively bring you back into this value area of this range. And then it could give you like this uh, to trade. But the, the amount of volume that has taken place here compared to, you know, the rest of the chart is, is like, almost irrelevant so to speak you know so there for that reason i th i do think like if we do flip for example this monthly then i i guess i have to acknowledge that we're pretty much in a bull run right now and this uh, in terms of when i refer back to like the elliott wave count where i was looking at this is more like it like an x wave then you know even though the time is incorrect then i probably have to have to look at this as as that this was like something like a wave two, and we are now making up our bigger wave three upwards. But of course, these are like crazy targets at the moment. We do have some resistance above us, but it's kind of crazy that we're actually now at a point where, where we are talking about these higher targets uh, yeah. <laughs> because we are above everything at the moment. So yeah, yeah. I also don't think this is the high personally. and. Even if this is the high, then I'm simply just not interested in, in, in shorting here. I agree with you, Daniel. Like, it looks really cool on Twitter, and then you're the man. But at the same time, is this a technical good short? Not really. Like, personally, I would like to see, at the very least, like some market structure to be lost. And then, yeah, I miss this part. I don't care. But... If we do now have a trend reversal, then the downwards potential is so much larger than the upwards potential. 
and it just gives you a really nice uh, risk to, re to reward trade, so to speak. You know, and it's much more safe and you can make a more stronger case that you're actually on the higher probability side of the trade. No. Can I share my screen for a second? Okay, for not... Do you want to continue? Yes. Oh, which? Ah, I get to pick. That's good. So can you see it? Okay, yeah, so just uh, I posted this earlier today because uh, inspired by Mike's uh, refreshing delete everything on your chart and inverse it and just try to remove your biases and see what's going on. Um, I started playing around with the same. This is the BitMEX chart, which I wasn't using lately. I was using Bybit like most of us now, I think, since we're trading there anyway. And uh, well, I just popped this on inverse and I said, okay, where if this is an inverse chart, so this is dropping or a massive dump, so to speak, where support? Where could where could there be any support? And to be honest, I'm having trouble finding it. I mean, there's a few scattered levels over here on that crazy part, but it's a bit of an empty area. And like, uh, if you take it on the monthly chart, you can draw the big CC that Mike already showed, basically lining up with that monthly. So it's it has already played a role. When was this? June 2019. And then you got that old monthly from 17, and. Pff, Above that, there's uh, nothing much left. If you turn on volume for everything, like you said, I mean, we're way out of the value area for the entire chart and there's uh, pretty much nothing going on here. So mm, I suppose, yeah, even though I'm not interested in shorting, I am questioning whether there will be any transaction interest in this area. For now, historically, there hasn't been or just shortly. So um, yeah, keep paying yourself. Even if you're in a nice long, I would say, I guess my recommendation, not financial advice, of course, yo, is to keep paying yourself. Um, and if there is a breakdown, then there will be a nice uh, retrace um, or a nice bounce where you can then get into a very nice swing short with some confidence, VWAP, some weekly, some, some, some sort of, or, or a speed fan or something that just tells you, okay, this is, uh, we've broken market structure and now I can get into a very nice short and swinging down. And now we're we're not at that point, so just uh, keep it chill and uh, keep it long <laughs> until the chart tells you that that is not uh, necessary anymore. Because instead of trying to short the top ten times, well, uh, how about you stay long and uh, take a loss at the end, and then uh, switch back uh, switch back out of your long bias into the short bias. Yeah, that's it. Just. Uh, just a bit of a macro view. Um, I, when I posted it this morning, it was more like, okay, if we ever get there, this would be something to pay attention to. But you know, now we're um, very close to it, <laughs> which yeah, is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, really, really crazy. Oh, maybe one thing that I do want to show. Um, yeah, sure. Do I need to stop sharing? Yeah, you'll need lagging. to. My PC is lagging a little bit. Um, oh, no. doo -doo -doo. Share screen, boom. So there's a, yeah, let me clean this up for a second. <laughs> what? This one, so this is a channel that I've had on like ages. Ooh. It's based off of an Elliott wave count uh, channel, uh, nice. wave two to wave, uh, the end of wave four and it's so like this is the thing you know like never remove an old channel you know so this is like this fifth fit channel we just literally just came back into this channel and we just hit actually the the the, the, the three at two of this channel which is pretty cool and it also now like like locally oh, what's going on my pc is uh, locally it actually lines up really nicely with a local uh cc so that that is potentially like 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 if you want to scalp then i guess this could be a potential range i've done my trades for today so i i'm i'm gonna leave it as it is i'm just gonna have an alarm set if we get above this again or if we lose yeah, if we lose what actually? That's a good question. I haven't I haven't really thought about <laughs> that yet. <laughs> Probably this low, then I want to be at least alerted. 
am I gonna take a trade directly? I don't know. Uh, I, I I'm gonna simply look at at what is what is the order flow doing, you know, and uh, probably gonna look for the VWAP uh, to come back into play because that has been like so amazing. I took two trades off it yesterday one, and today one. So this one, uh, all the way uh, till till here. This is where I closed it um and then pretty much like wrote wrote this up now just sitting at spot and where was this trade yesterday uh i believe it was this touch over here so we bounced off it again i missed that and then we came back to it again and that is when i uh, took another long and that basically gave also gave like a really really nice rise i believe it was like four percent if i'm not mistaken four two percent i think i'm wrong somewhere on the chart but Anyway, I posted it on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, there, there's it exactly on the, on the picture. But anyway, uh, the Loved. VWAP is definitely something I'm going to be very interested in. Uh, again, to, to, to at least see the reaction of it. Because the last few days, this has been like so amazingly accurate and gave really, really good trades. So as yeah. long as it works, then why not look for it, right? Yeah. I, I couldn't help myself. I sculpt a I sculpt a long position. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Well, it's uh, yeah. probably all good. <laughs> it's we, with we, the we trend. Can, we can see if it goes. Well, you can see if it plays well. But I took a long. Um, I think. Um, oh man, this is trippy. How do I move you off of the um, always on top thing? I oh, know we go. Yeah, so I've, I just posted in the group that daily let that we hit uh if i zoom out so obviously that daily was coming in at twelve thousand nine hundred and thirty. so that's that's the reason why i would say you rejected off of this you know level because it was it's literally the last daily from that last range which was what june 2019 um the daily the highest one was twelve thousand nine hundred and thirty. so we, we have hit that more or less and you've got to pull back from there that's the last daily so it's a really 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 big level um so yeah, you can you you know you've got the pullback, you've got a little. Well, I think from from here, this is this is uh, uh there's nothing really to say. You got a pullback, it just goes sideways, it gets a little drop to the downside. Uh, I think people, you have to imagine there's. I would imagine anyway, there's a lot of people that missed out on everything. So generally, if that's the case, then pullbacks get they get pulled up pretty quickly during the first twenty four hours. So I think it's pretty unlikely. Again, not impossible, but pretty unlikely that we fall down today um because you have to imagine that there's still a lot of people wanting to buy this dip because they've basically missed out on everything um it's generally how it works and then you form a little bit of a range and then um obviously yeah your next key level is, is clearly thirteen thousand. i think that's a bit obvious um but you know as, as well yeah like like yeah they've said you know take take profit is probably a good idea at the moment but nevertheless um yeah, I'm looking at around 13,500. If we break through that, uh, what was the level I said earlier? I think it was like $14,500. So, um, or was it 14400 I can't quite remember. Um, it's like the overall. The big uh, CC? Yeah, I think that's $14,300, uh, more or less, like 14300 14400 so my next big target is really going to be around 13,500. Then yeah. you obviously got that monthly 13,875. You got the top of this upwards channel, which is around 14,000. Depends obviously how quick it is. But that, that, that next target for me would be around 14,300 ish. You know, it's a bit of a region, but around 14,300. And obviously that's the CC, support. the six six. Yeah, actually. yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, the, the global one. You actually have like three different confluences there as well um again like that that would be for scope you know this is the way you trade in uptrends and you know i've been telling you all this that you scope only shorts in an uptrend like you don't try and swing long these places obviously but those are the levels that i'd be interested in and uh on the flip side for support well i mean you moved up so quick it doesn't really feel so much support for you um so i mean you got sub levels but your biggest support is is, is really in my opinion that last sort of block that you had here around 11,920. I mean, it's so far from where you are here. That's literally 6%, 87%. But 
yep that's trading uh that, that's the that, that's the next that's the big support that if you lose that then we can say yeah so, so i think i'd done a live stream yesterday for the public this was and i said uh when i was looking at that triangle wasn't i and i said could this be the high i mean you've got a technical reason why it could be the high but it's probably not like the likelihood is that it's not the high and we go higher and it's the same today i mean we've got a technical reason why there could be a you know a, could be the high but same as i say yesterday I, I, I don't think this is the high and i, I think we push higher to be honest but um you know that, that's not saying just randomly buy um but uh it is saying you know take sensible trades um trade take sensible trades make sensible results if, if you take stupid trades expect stupid results and yeah. uh yeah my my sculpt there went really well i'm gonna <laughs> already done <laughs> i'm gonna close it uh, <laughs> <laughs> take profit <laughs> that, that's how you that's make two thousand dollars from your phone <laughs> yeah that's pretty but cool that, that's the thing though keep paying yourself you can't i mean don't get greedy because now we're dealing with greed and euphoria everybody's happy everyone's like Way! yeah pay yourself pay yourself yeah i agree and then this this is also like the the thing about like being in a strong trend um, I would say if you're like beginning or if you're still like learning how to trade, then trading a trend, in my opinion, is like much more difficult than actually trading a range because a range is just much more well-defined. You have very clear invalidation. You have very clear take profit targets, whereas in a trend, it is, it is not much so, if, if you know what I mean. I mean, ultimately, you want to trade with the trend, but um, having like... Let's say let's say you're 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 not trading for that long just yet, and now you find yourself in a strong up, upwards Bitcoin uh, trend. Um, it is so tempting to now just enter with trades in 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 much larger position sizes uh, than you would normally do, and then the dips they're gonna take you out. So just be careful with that. And I know that this is a thing because I've been through that myself. Um, so just be aware of that and you know don't let the emotions get better if you just search for technicals uh, subdivide your levels and just trade just simply trade as you normally would it's not like you're of course like in, in, in trending uh, markets you can make a, a lot of money but you can also lose a lot more so just a word of caution i guess yeah man uh, I'll do some of the comments then, and then I think we'll call it a call it a day. Um, let me Once just we're to look at the chat. chat. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm not uh, going to eat the ramen tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice steak on the menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. I, th I think I got some uh, pasta tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you can't beat us to home past me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, everybody's liking it. That's great. So bullish until we lose. Tw yes, that's my plan anyway. Um, kind of twelve two fifty important support, but really the bigger one, but is is still in my opinion now anyway eleven thousand nine hundred twenty five because that was such a big resistance. Now we've flipped it. Mm -hmm. It's obviously big support. Um, <laughs> I think the PayPal news... Okay, so I'll, I'll give my opinion on this one. Uh, I think the PayPal news is a huge catalyst. Is the PayPal news responsible for the pump? I would say absolutely not. Absolutely not. Obviously, it helps. But, I mean, how how can you try and... You know, the, the PayPal news isn't even, like, massively bullish. Um, PayPal were, like, allowing people to, like, essentially buy Bitcoin... But we knew this ages ago. This isn't yeah. anything new. <laughs> and I agree. Al al also, it's not as if, like, I don't even see who's going to use it because PayPal are known for having extremely high fees. So if you want to buy one Bitcoin, they're probably going to charge you uh, double the amount that it would cost on any anywhere else. I don't see the, a use case anyway. But, I mean, I mean, you could, we're a technical group. Uh, we trade the charts, and the charts were... The, you know, the news came out here, and you got this, you got to move up. But the... the, the the charts were already really, really, you know, the charts were bullish. Yeah. That's why yeah. we're looking for swing longs only. That's why I've been saying don't take a swing short. You know, we have been literally saying don't take swing shorts, only look for swing longs because you're in an uptrend. Yet in the PayPal news maybe helps 
I can't say maybe it helped, but it, it was only helping what was already on the charts. So it's like, no, I don't think the PayPal news... Uh, the, the, the move was going up anyway. I'd say it like this. The move, the Bitcoin was more likely to go up and the PayPal news maybe helped, but we'd have got to this level nevertheless sort of thing. I don't think the PayPal news is a, is a catalyst. Mm. Uh, or maybe maybe it helped. I, 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 I can't say it. Maybe it didn't, but I, all I can say is um, I, I couldn't care less about the PayPal news sort of thing. And I, I'm sure Mike and Victor think, think exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I remember at the beginning um, when I first got into crypto that I did follow news and uh, try to he find out information similar to stocks. You know, you, you don't have any type of company reference or anything. So you try to find some news to explain what's going on. But uh, it's absolutely refreshing to not have to care about that at all because you just follow the chart and it's all right there. You just have to find it. Um, and for me, yesterday, that flip uh, of that very key area that we had um, in our target or in our sites for a while um, was uh, the catalyst for me, not not the PayPal news. I mean, that's a nice tidbit that came in today. Okay, sure, if you want to explain it like that. But for me, it was uh, just the um, uh, relentless claiming of resistances and flipping them to support i mean what else do i need it's all good and yeah, until man. that changes then i know what's gonna what the direction is that's it don't need to yeah. worry about news amen yeah i agree i mean this news was actually pretty old already so i i, I don't think it's news to be honest <laughs> uh, and I'm definitely not trading off it uh, Daniel, maybe uh, maybe you can spare a few words about the correlation with the ES and the uh, dollar and uh, and and basically legacy markets. What do you think about? Yeah, that? so obviously the dollar is getting dumped. Like I don't know what. Um, <laughs> so this this was pretty technical. Uh, we we all know that the inverse correlation. So when dollar goes down, Bitcoin goes up. Generally speaking, obviously, because there's there's an inverse correlation between the dollar and gold, and obviously Bitcoin is somewhat correlated to gold, and so the bearish the dollar index being weak is really good for bitcoin um you know this was all pretty technical obviously you had the low high low you come into the one-to-one -one extension you got the rejection you back tested that channel which has been trading for a long long time and now once was the midpoint all the way back here we come back down into the channel you broke out to the one-to-one -one extension you come back down to hold it as support you got another bounce drop down then you got this like double top and then obviously you're back down to the middle once more of the channel where you're trying to bounce you know you're trying to bounce but obviously yeah the, the, the dollar's really 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 weak at the moment um es well you you will kind of know how i feel on the es uh but i'm really bullish on the es overall uh, but you know i view this in terms of months not what's happening I, I i don't really care what happens on like the four hour daily charts like i'm in this for months but um yeah i think the, the, the es correlation is somewhat decouped i don't i don't don't think there's a correlation to trade anymore and you know this is again nothing new the correlations come and correlations go because if the thing was correlated all the time then it just does not happen so you get correlations and you got to know when to trade with a correlation and when to say okay i'm trading the chart period i don't care what's actually happening on the es because the correlation is not there and the correlation hasn't been there since uh what was it the 13th of october yeah. is when i think the correlation went in my opinion um so it hasn't really been there for a few weeks now and um you know you, you can kind of see that so, you know, it's obviously a massive difference and it's because bitcoin's chart was really well it's just it's just been continuously making higher lows higher highs 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 sort of thing um you know uh, whereas es is it's not been doing that ES is actually making lower highs and lower lows. So the, the, the charts are totally in, totally not correlated. GC has been a little bit better in terms of how technical that was. That was insane. Obviously had that A, A, B, C, D, E, B, down for the C. Uh, you went from low to high, C, C. And then from high to low, C, C. And then from low to high, C, C. So this is insane, like really amazing sort of technicals. So gold's really great to trade. I love to trade it. But, um, I mean, it's still not anything in comparison to the Bitcoin stream that you had. <laughs> but, um, 
yeah my opinion on the correlations is you got to know when to trade them and when not to care about it sort of thing like i i couldn't care less what's happening on the es when i'm trading bitcoin at the moment because i know that there's no correlation anymore so why, why it doesn't really matter what happens on the es you got to trade bitcoin yeah sort of thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool yeah that's, that's that's my answer yeah so um um word yeah, I think that's uh, probably going to wrap it up. Obviously, we've got a contenders live stream tonight, so that should be fun as well. That's what is it now? Five, two and a half. Oh, yeah, hours. I almost forgot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two and Let's a half hours. We've got another live stream for you all. So <laughs> uh, that was obviously more educational. Um, so, yeah, we got we got that coming in about two and a half hours for you all. Uh, so I'll, I'll see you tonight in the live stream, and I'm sure I'll absolutely update you again on Bitcoin um maybe in two and a half hours we have more data we'll have two and a half more hours of data and it does look like this is the high maybe if we start forming some bearish divergences then we can actually place more confidence in this being the high so i'll update you in two and a half hours if this is you know at the moment i have to think but well, i think everybody in the in the stream that took non-financial advice of saying i've entered the log could have made money with me during this one <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know, maybe in two and a half hours, I'm like, okay, actually, I think short's the best place because actually we're forming really big bearish divergences off that daily resistance. You know, that's two and a half hours. I don't think it's likely, but I'll give you an update in the contenders live stream a little bit later tonight uh, because why not? And uh, then we also got the the education there. So um should be a good one. Uh, so yeah, thank you, everybody. And uh, we'll catch you in the live stream a little bit later on. Yeah, cheers. Catch you later, guys. Peace. Thank you very much. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>